In this video, I will demonstrate how to make use of different online web services to download data and use them in UMAP processing. QGIS comes in this browser panel with different capabilities of adding different kind of data. Uh, for example, you have something called WMS is a web mapping service. It's usually data that you can just look on in your map canvas or web coverage services, which is data that you actually also can download down to your local computer and then use it. They also have uh, actually one X, Y, Z tiles of OpenStreetMap, which could be quite useful to know about. So if I just double click on this, you can see that the OpenStreetMap is downloaded from the area. In this case, I'm using a digital surface model of the central of London. If you want to know a little bit more about what the area looks like, you can add this kind of data just by adding it directly here. And of course, you need an internet connection. But what we will look into now is to download population density data, which is one data set that is used very often in UMAP. We will use web coverage services and we will add a new connection. This data is host by SEDAC, so Socioeconomic Data and Application Center from NASA. And they provide this service, so they have a big uh, server with the, your, their data on and we're going to make use of that. Simply only thing you need here is a URL to um, the actual server where they have this data. And I have put this here, so I don't have to type it. And I need to give it a name, so maybe I give it CDAC. And then I click OK. Now you see that I have a new uh, feature here in the browser panel and I can actually click here and then you can see all the data set which is available from this server that they have. And one that we use quite a lot is the population data so we can see here is a gridded population of the world version 4. So for example I take population density from 2000 and what you simply do is just that you drag it down into your uh, layer panel and then it starts now to download and prepare the data to be visualized in your map canvas. This can take a while based on the traffic, your internet connection and also how much uh, data or how detailed data you are want to download. So this means that we have to wait for a little bit just until the data is actually arrived uh, so that we can see it. There are also other web cover services for other kinds of data. So if you see this, it's a very good option to use. So you can actually download it directly to your computer. Just have to wait for a little bit more. Hopefully it will turn up soon. And here it is. It says it has a network request error, but you see that you have something coming into your map canvas. This is all black now. And you see that it seems like it's only have zeros, this data, but this is because it's all taking the scale of this from the whole world population data set and then it has some, some issues with the scaling here. But what we want to do is to download this to our computer for the area that we have on our map canvas. So what we do is that we take a file name, I already done this. So I will overwrite this gridded population for 2000. And then I click to uh, 
download it for the map canvas extent, and then you get some extent lat longs here, and then I click OK. Now you see that you actually get a data set with some values, uh, number of people per square kilometer or hectare, I don't remember really. So and now I directly remove the, the web coverage service from my map canvas, and now you can see that I have downloaded a data set with population data that you can now use because it's locally stored on your computer. Mm -hmm.